Hello to all you Fire Alarm and Siren fans on YouTube. It is FS Thunderbolt Fan 1000 here with another Siren video. This will be my rebuttal to the different YouTube channel that made a video of what's inside an air raid siren. I'll admit that they gave it their college try, but they have zero clue what they're talking about. So I figured uh, an, es an expert should be left up to explain what's inside a tornado siren and how they work. So in front of me here is a Federal Signal Model A. What they used was a Fed was a Sentry Model F2. These are both industrial sirens. These are not air raid sirens or tornado sirens. They are meant for indoor fire alarm systems and such. So they're not as loud as the big boys that we'll be getting into here. So yeah, this is a Model A here. As you can see that there's a rotor inside which is a fan and a stator which is on the outside. And how this works is the fan spins really fast and then the centrifugal force of that shoves the air outside via these blades that chops the air and then creates the siren noise so the faster this spins the more higher pitch it gets so yeah it's basically how this works so this, these sirens work by chopping the air now there's a different type of siren out there called the electronic siren and basically all it is is a giant speaker horn like this that is powered by some sort of tone generator and amplifier that mimics a siren sound those types of sirens will be your federal signal modulator federal signal DSA Sentry VR series American signal I force and E class Wheelin 2900 series and Wheelin 404 series and then ATI, HPS, 3200s, and 1600s. Those will be all your electronic sirens. So yeah, this is basically how these sirens work. It's on a, it's on a, this is on a much smaller scale. This puts out like 112 decibels at 10 feet, so it's not really meant for anything big outside. So then it's driven by a motor, and then this is a cooling fan on the back to keep the motor cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the smaller sirens. Let's move on to what's inside an actual tornado or air raid siren. Alright, before we get into the Thunderbolt, which is the most common tornado siren everyone knows about, is uh, what we have in front of us is a Federal Signal 500 SHST siren rotor. And then in the back is the stator, that yellow thing right there. So that's, it's basically a super size Model A, if you think about it. This siren has like a three quarter horsepower motor. The 500 takes a 10 horsepower motor. So it has a rotor. This is the rotor that goes inside the stator. Then this spins really fast, just like on the Model A, and it spits the air out the ports, which then get chopped by the stator. So that's pretty much it for the 500. So yeah, this is on a much bigger scale. This is a 18 inch diameter fan basically so it's a lot bigger than what the other YouTube channel used so this puts out a lot more sound compared to a little industrial siren that so this is a legit tornado slash air raid siren this particular siren was from 1969 and was in service in Marshfield Wisconsin until it came down and now I own it so let's move on to what I, you've all been waiting for the Federal Signal Thunderbolt Okay guys, so here we are with the Federal Signal 1003, well it's a Thunderbolt 1003, so it's a little bit different than the 500, there's a lot more parts to this one, and this is like the ones that you see on top of the schools, this siren is from the year 1962, it came from Reedsburg, Wisconsin, and now I own it. So basically with this one, it still has the same fan setup, only it's behind here, and usually there'd be a big yellow trumpet horn coming off of this siren but there's this one has two fans and one behind there one produces a high tone one produces a low tone to make it dual tone and give it that classic civil defense siren t sound this model was made for like fire departments and stuff because it could make another signal called like high low or whale high low depending on it. it's called fire signal but the way that would works is while the fan is spinning each of these solenoids could block off a row of ports and cause it to create a high-low sound. So that's basically what's different. You don't see a lot of them with this, but mine has that. This is the 
Inside here is the chopper tube, which I can pull you guys off and see. I'll take you off the tripod so you guys can see in here. This is the chopper tube. So the way, since this siren rotates, there'd be a set of brushes that would ride on these rings and as the siren spins, this remains stationary so that way power can get to the electric motor so it can spin the fan to make the noise. Down here in the rotator box, we have a gear reducer. Normally there'd be another electric motor here that would spin the gear reducer, which then drives this pulley here if it would zoom in, which then drives the big pulley, which turns the siren head, if you can see it, very slowly, because I'm spinning it by hand. Right here, this is the clutch, so when strong winds come, like with nasty weather or whatever, wind can push on the horn and will allow the chopper tube here to slip a bit, like it, you'd have to push pretty hard but it allows it to slip a bit so that way you don't wreck the gears like it doesn't bend the gears or cut the gears off up there's another set of collector rings for the solenoids that I showed earlier so that way they can spin and get power too normally with the thunderbolts there'd be another piece called the blower which is on the bottom of the siren the base which kind of props it up so there'd be a giant blower with a roots blower you can look that up online it's kind of like a car supercharger. Without the blower, the thunderbolt's not that loud. But the way it works is the blower pumps up 10 cubic feet a minute of air. Yeah, 10 CFM of air. No, it's more than that. It's like 200 some CFM at 10 PSI. And then that puts out more air than is allowed out of these slots by the, by the chopper. So that makes it sound really loud. So it basically supercharges it. So that's why the thunderbolts are so loud as they are. But I'm missing that part for the siren, so I can't really do a demonstration on it. But yeah, so it pipes up the air, it comes up this pipe, up to the chopper tube, and then out the chopper and out the horn. So that's basically what's inside a legitimate air raid siren. Like I said before, they didn't use a legitimate air raid siren, so I figured I should make a video because I have a couple air raid sirens and I can show you and the rest of whoever else is watching what is inside an air raid siren legitimately. I'm not throwing it up in the air and smashing it to pieces and being all like, oh look, I'm so cool and whatever. Like me and my dad make videos and don't really show you anything. But here, hopefully you learned a little something from it. And you can learn what's actually inside a tornado siren. If you enjoyed my video, please comment or rate it. Or if you want to see more of this, please consider subscribing.